So we're working on weaving a triangular string rope seat for this backwoods tripod stool. And what we've done so far is we've created a loop in our nylon rope, woven some paracord through that to create a, a basically a net that fits nicely over a rounded end of our tripod. I'll show you how we do that. So basically, we've got a loop and a section of paracord. We've burnt both ends of the paracord uh, to make that easy to thread through this nylon, which is not an ideal cordage. I like it for a couple of things. One is this right here. So I'm going to pull this loop open on the end and I'm going to push my paracord through that. And I'm going to pass that through itself. So that gives me, I've got about 11 inches, 10 or 11 inches of paracord here that I can continue. And so what we're trying to create is a web that will go over the end of our tripod. To make that happen, I'm gonna come down the nylon cord, pull its strands apart, and I'm gonna take my paracord through that, just like that. I'm gonna to go to the opposite side. I noticed that I, I carry a blanket pin with me these blanket pins are great for more than just pinning a blanket. Uh, makes it kind of convenient. I can slip that in there, spread this open, and start my paracord through fairly easily. Whoop. If I can keep a hold of it. Let me get this turned. The first couple of these is a lot easier. It gets tougher as you force the paracord through it. Use that pin again. So, as you can see, and then we're going to come back across, and we're just going to continue to do this, crossing it over each other, and then we come back up through. We'll show you that. So we've woven this along the nylon cord and hopefully you can kind of see how we cross that end. What I learned from the other loop was to try to leave these loose uh, so that it fits over the tripod pole easily. And then we're going to come back up from the opposite side and we're going to feed this through right there at the top and this is on the back side of the paracord so it kind of serves as a backing behind so you can see through that the pole is just going to literally push up into that just like my thumb right there and that's going to allow me to hook this over the pole, this remaining tail on my weave is going to allow me to lash this back to the tripod. We'll show you what that looks like. So just to be clear, there's no right or wrong way, I guess, to do this. This is just something I wanted to try. Uh, obviously, I could take a tripod. Actually, with the cordage I'm using here, I had a little paracord just out doing a little hiking hanging out in the woods today and I found this blue nylon cord uh, along the lake and I'm guessing it's probably off of someone's buoy and I thought, you know I'm gonna try this I've been looking at it contemplating in my mind how you can make this work so I showed you how we created these so-called net baskets uh, this one's probably the better one of the three uh, this is about the way I wanted it to come out each of these baskets, the leftover cordage, we just created a loop so that we could take some additional paracord, 
go through, brought it down to the three legs on our tripod and put that under tension. So it literally, I, even if I'm not sitting on this, it really can't move. And uh, we twisted that to create some tension. So there's a little tension. Most of my weight uh, goes on these two. So my hips are actually sitting across these two. And this here, we actually used a stick that was a little shorter than the others for obvious reasons. So uh, for comfort when I'm straddling it. And uh, it, it's pretty comfortable. If I was out here and wanted a stool to sit on to keep me off the ground, uh, such as this afternoon, it's a little damp. And this gets me off the ground while I'm messing around the fire or fishing. And uh, it works. It's functional. So one other uh, point that I want to make and kind of tinkering with this, a thought that I had, and I may unwind all this and try it this way. I usually carry a saw. don't have it with me today. I could notch each of these tripod poles. And in that case, would not need this basket. And if I put a nice deep notch in each of these, then I could easily place these loops in that notch, tighten the loops up, and I think make this stand on its own. But that's just a thought. So this is a fun little project. I know it can be done. Um, it's quite a bit of cordage there. But believe it or not, that's actually just a number of scrap pieces. So uh, you could do this, I think, with a little ingenuity, with almost any materials you had. I even thought about using my belt. So if you have any ideas, post some feedback. So we've got a functional tripod with nothing but scrap cordage and a little bit of ingenuity. Pretty comfortable.